Wait a second. Why are there goats in there? Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are watching. Welcome to Everybody Loves Ray. That's me, I'm Ray, and today we are going to be reacting to episode four of season six of Black Mirror. This one's called Maisie Day, and no, I have no idea what it's about. I'm hoping that it's a little less horrible than the last episode, Beyond the Sea, because that truly wrecked me and I still think about it. The thing says, a troubled Hollywood starlet goes to great lengths to escape packs of invasive paparazzi as she deals with the aftermath of a hit and run. So I don't know what's gonna be mind boggling about this one, but I am ready to find out. Also, if you're interested in seeing completely unedited reactions to these episodes, as well as my reactions to other series I've done in the past, go to the link in my bio that will take you to my Patreon. And I would love to thank my current patrons for supporting my channel. It means a lot. Let's watch. Yeah, JP, I've been sitting here for two hours, but there's no sign of them. I'll let you know. Oh, she's a pat. Oh, ah! I can pay for those pictures. $500? What was he just caught doing? Fucking animal! She definitely does not look like what you would imagine a paparazzi person to be. 250 each. 250? Come on, man, 300. He was gonna offer you 500. And he offered me 500. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, hey. sorry. Sorry. I got paid, the new toy. Oh my gosh, okay, now I know where we are on the timeline. Not the shuffle. I have really delicate sinuses. And when you fry garlic, and ginger, it just makes the whole apartment a little acrid. Babe, those are regular ass spices. Yeah, I'll open the window, Nathan. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, no. That is such a white person attitude though. I like that it's actually during this time because I do feel like this particular, like early 2000s was when paparazzi was huge and a huge problem. Received Tranquility star Justin Canley has been found dead in his Hollywood Hills home. He was found hanged in an apparent suicide. Oh, shit. Only days ago, the scandal broke that Justin had been cheating on his long-term Yeah, partner, that's what I kind of figured. And she played a role in it. Can't say I sympathize with the guy. Wait, he come on. I'm sorry, but did someone force him to become an actor? Dude. Wanted his face out there, the money and the rest of it, and then oh no, he gets sad because he feels exposed. It's just dumb. Oh my god. The lack of empathy, wow. My limo guy says he's got Sidney Alberti in the back. Slutty Alberti. Slutty Alberti. <laughs> Why does she choose to do this? Sidney! Sidney! Come on, come on, come on! Ew, did he just try to get up her skirt? God, I hate them. A big bunch of losers are wasting your lives! Get a job! Kiss a girl! Do something! Like, why is she choosing to be even in this, associated with these people? I love your sex tape! Fucking whore! You piece of shit! Yeah, go after him! Come on, you fuck me again! That is assault! I've got witnesses! Oh, fuck you, piece of shit! Is she re-evaluating herself? I sure hope. Give me that. There's a treat. In the pocket for Stefan. We can. We can have it. Oh, this trip. Um, oh, that's the present? I thought it would be cute, like chocolate. <laughs> oh, it's odd watching a show use this song after Twilight because I just feel like nothing compares, but props for trying. <laughs> not doing well. <laughs> oh shoot, this is gonna be the hit and run, isn't it? Girl! Oh my god. 
good. Oh, this is stressing me out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the road, bitch. still playing I feel like she's gonna try to cover this up I mean wouldn't her car be dented or something what did he what did he say the found man in the road man mm. they think hit and run damn I kind of thought that it was gonna be a hit and run down to her this kind of changed the scope of things. Maybe hair and makeup are ready for you. Oh, so she's amazing. All right. Your share of the rent is late. I do not feel it is appropriate for me to financially support. Okay, I'll get the money. Thank you. I mean, he's not wrong in being concerned. I would be pissed off too. So, Bo? Haven't you heard? No dogs allowed. She left that for life. Thought that maybe you could um, help me with something. Help you with what? Maisie Day. Basically gone fucking wacko. So that's your professional psychiatric opinion? <laughs> she got kicked off the movie set two weeks ago, flew home, and no one's seen her since. Okay, and let it be that way. Nick's offering 30K for the first photo of her. Oh my God. 30K? 30K. 30,000? This reminds me of Britney. And honestly, any major women star during this time. Her, Amanda Bynes, Lindsay Lohan, they were all abused by the paparazzi. Who delivering? I think I have some money in my purse. It's okay. Mr. G said while you're a guest in his house, he's left money to cover everything. Oh, okay. Mr. G. Maisie Day's a fan, huh? <laughs> Same girl. She says she orders here every week? Mm hmm Come on. She so does. Saw her yesterday. She's staying at some, like, producer's house. <laughs> she got the info right then and there. Easy. PTSD. Damn, she's never gonna be able to watch Twilight again. If Twilight was even made at this point. Is it a mess? Yikes. Damn, girl. First step is to recognize that you're not in control of this. That it has taken you over and you must be humble in the face of it. Oh, this poor girl. I've arranged a place that we can take you away from anyone and anything. Can you get me better? What's about getting you through tonight and then the next night? I'm guessing they don't know what she did because, like, if they don't know, there's nothing they can really do because she's just going to have this secret in her. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. This better be amazing. Fuck are we going? How would they have not been able to tell by this point that they've been being followed? Oh. Oh! Hey! Yeah. What the fuck? She deserves it, honestly. Like, I get she needs the money, but at the hands of somebody else's mental health and everything, I don't know, I just don't, don't really support it. Are you going well? Absolutely not. I'm guessing you could use a coffee. Or a beer. Does Jeremy Allen dupe? Is there a motel within crawling distance? Uh, the only place near here is the Cedarwood Retreat. Which is probably where she's going. A rehab? Yeah, but for like rich hippie types, you know? Uh, Kyle, that's my uncle. He says someone hired the entire complex for the weekend. Easy day. You actually know where we're going? Just shut up and trust me. Why did we focus on him? What is this, Jurassic Park? No, they're just keeping people like us out. Is that Witty's car? Oh, this man. Fucking annoying. This was my find. Yeah, I heard of this place. Sounds like a rehab joint. Let's find a way in. I just feel like they're gonna fuck it up for us. <laughs> How does that sound? See, I'm triggered by, like, Henry. The sound of a power tool. <laughs> Fuck. That's the guy who slashed my tires. Busy days here. That's the doctor. Okay. 
It's not going well for us. Is that her? Is that a fucking chain? Is that a fucking chain around her neck? Kinky yeah. shit. What? No, that's not okay. That's some bad as shackles are up for the cold turkey. That's fucking illegal, Hector. Yeah, what the hell? I was afraid something like this was gonna happen. Hit. I cannot believe they're still taking pictures. Are you kidding me? Guys, she's burning up. So much for sexy shots. Wow, they're sick human beings. Stop! She's chained to the floor! I'm gonna say I gotta be alone. Yeah, but not like this. They say a lot of shit. Okay. We're gonna get you. Did she turn into something? Like, like what? Fuck. Wait a second. Why are there goats in there? You don't understand! Did she turn into something? Oh, we didn't notice something. Did she eat the guy? Run away! Oh, oh, there's something. There's gonna be a twist. There, we're, get, we're getting a twist. Did she turn into a werewolf? This is code for werewolf. <gasps> oh, she hurt a werewolf. <gasps> she probably was bit. And now she's gonna turn. Honestly killed them. They deserve it after this. <laughs> I don't believe in the glorification of murder. I do believe in the empowerment of women. We gotta go, man. We oh, have to shit. go, folks. Oh, What's wrong with her? Now I get why they play super massive. That should have been a sign. The werewolves were involved. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, she about to eat him. Just a couple more. So what you get for not minding your business? Come on, let's go! Wow, this just turned into a horror movie. <laughs> Damn! Oh, no. It's gonna be pulled under. Yeah. Sorry, bro. What are you doing? The shots are worth a million each, bro! Damn, this is crazy! It's a dog <laughs> show. I don't know if they're gonna make it out. I really don't know. Is that the sheriff? Oh, no. oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Damn, if only they were Bella. God damn. You're right. Another satisfied victim. God damn, Jesse. Don't use the word victim. I don't like that for shadowing. Not many people know this, you know? They think, oh, well, it's, you just drop it in the deep fryer. No, it's not about frying chicken. You know, you're gonna saute oh it. Oh God, no, they're leading, they're leading it. Because you, know, you undercook it and, you know, people die. Oh my god, it's gonna, what, it's gonna like jump through the window. And explain to me what has happened, then maybe we can figure out how we're gonna move forward. No, just please just fucking call for help. I will do. Oof, she's here. She's here. Mother yeah. has arrived. Stand the situation. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, back up, back up, oh, sir. Back up, sir. Get up. Stay down. Oh my god. It's out oh, there, officer. You need to call for backup, officer. God, the fucking police always just Just fucking listen, you dumb fuck! Oh, these poor civilians. Really? Really? 
time and place. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. I mean, you don't necessarily deserve to die, but literally, that's what you're prioritizing in this moment. Oh shit, he accidentally shot the dude. Wow, this is horrific. At this point, I'd be like, all right, take me. <laughs> that was a good shot, damn. Did she turn back? Oh, yeah, that's very traumatic. Like, she can't help it. You gonna do it, ho? She said, I won't do it. I'm not gonna have that on my conscience, but you can. <laughs> Don't take the picture. Damn, this one was pretty unexpected. I did not think at all that we were going to get into the whole supernatural realm of things. A lot of things with Black Mirror usually have to do with technology and stuff, and this doesn't. But it does have to do with greed. I think a lot of stuff has to do with greed. At the end of the day, she got the shot and she's gonna end up basically being a, a millionaire. But at what cost? The amount of trauma and PTSD? I mean, I guess she's gonna have the money for therapy now. Poor Maisie Day, because Fucking hell. People, mind your business. Do you know how much better it'd be if you just kept to yourself? All of them would still be alive if they just didn't follow her, weren't so greedy for money and a good shot. Kind of like with Beyond the Sea, where David gets desperate, the same way that she was desperate to get some cash, the way all of them were. It kind of like takes away your morals, like it makes you do things that are just unethical, and in the end, it doesn't help anybody. In fact, it harms a lot of people. Yeah, that's a pretty straightforward one. I don't think it really makes you think too much. Honestly, it's a little bit of a nicer one to go off of from all the existential shit from the last three episodes. It's just nice that it's kind of a straightforward thing. So the article I'm reading now, if we're looking at kind of like the point of this episode, they do touch on the fact how the early 2000s were riddled with toxic paparazzi culture, which I mentioned because yeah, years later we look back on that and we fully recognize that abuse and that harassment, the disregard for mental health and privacy, all that stuff, which isn't to say it's still not bad, but it was so much more ruthless in a way during that time because of course like social media and stuff like that hadn't taken off. So really when you got a shot of somebody, it wasn't just as easy as just getting, like anybody can get a quick pick nowadays. It's not this big story, but then it was. So Maisie's basically a stand-in for how celebrities, mostly women, were treated during that time. Britney Spears being a now obvious example, like I said, because also them being like, oh yeah, she had like a psychotic break and no one's seeing her and everyone's trying to get the first pick. Immediately you think of the Britney shaving her head situation. Now everybody mocked her for that instead of acknowledging the fact that she was really going through something. Everyone wanted to get that picture of her and the aftermath of that. And yeah, so I feel like the episode emphasizes the extreme lengths that paps were willing to go during that time, despite the health and privacy of those people. It doesn't matter if there's a ravenous beast about to strike them, the pictures are going to be worth a million bucks. So I think it's a very good commentary about that. I mean, I definitely think we could have used an episode like this years ago during that time. It would have been real relevant then. And I think it could have even opened people's eyes up because people didn't care yeah i mean i hate the paps no matter what because i like i just deal with it like so much it's just like really annoying honestly like i can't even leave my house most days and you know it could just get to you right right you understand yeah so if you enjoyed this episode or if you enjoyed my reaction please like this video respectfully comment your thoughts about this episode below and as always subscribe or don't i cannot make you but i would love it if you did and I will see you guys next time for the last episode. Bye.